Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review of Rebecca's movie premiere outfit. As you can see, there it is in the sticker. So here is the box. And let me just say, I've already looked at this, and like this outfit's actually pretty good quality for like what AJ's been putting out lately. So let's look at this. So first of all, the dress doesn't seem to have any shortcuts. Like besides, well obviously, the Velcro bothers me because I feel like the Velcro is going to rip up this fabric. But um, the satin part is pretty nice. Actually, now that I see this, this little American Girl thing bothers me. Um, which, like, why would you put that there? Like, I get why they put that on, like, Truly Me stuff. But, like, this is a historical outfit. I don't really think that's necessary. I might cut that off. Okay, so when I originally opened this, I did not see this AG thing. And I don't know if you can even see it in, like, the picture in the catalog or online. And this is really bothering me. I might cut that off, but then if I cut it off, there might just be, like, a weird, like, there might be, like, weird threads. So I don't know. I'm going to think about that. And then here's the shoes. My first thing with seeing these shoes is, like, why do they have a blue bow? Like, I feel like if anything, they should have, like, a magenta bow. Like, that doesn't really match. Or maybe even, like, a bow like this color. But, again, I do realize that, like, not everybody has, like, shoes that perfectly match their outfit, so I guess that's fine. And we're just gonna, it does clash a little bit, but we'll see how it looks on her. But also, about the dress, this part's, like, really soft and really, like, high quality, like, which is weird because, like, like I'm saying, American Girl's been cheaping out on a lot of things. Then we have a pretty standard bow. My only complaint now, ever since Beef Forever came along, with basically all of Rebecca's outfits that come with bows, now they're putting the bows on like little elastics, which I just don't like how that lays in the hair. Like, it's just like too weird. Like, no, I just rather tie the bow myself into her hair. So I was looking at the back, and I might be able to cut like the, like cut these threads so to get the elastic sep separate from the bow, so I can just have the ribbon to tie in her hair, which I might do. But also, this is her movie premiere outfit. But I'm pretty sure I talk about this in my Rebecca um, like clothing collection video or whatever. I'll link it below. But um, basically, when Be Forever came along, they started remaking a lot of the older outfits. So like, I actually have Rebecca's original movie outfit, like the outfit that she wears when she's in the movie. And this is her movie premiere outfit, so supposedly she wears this to the movie premiere. However, this is just a made-up storyline. In the books, she never goes to a movie premiere. She never has a specific dress for the movie premiere. I mean, she does go and see the movie, I'm pretty sure. But her parents don't even know that she's in the movie, so why on earth would they have her going to a movie premiere? You see, you see what I'm saying? Like, she snuck... Like, she, she went... She was in the movie with her uncle behind her parents' back, and she wasn't supposed to tell her parents about it. So, like, um, yeah, she never went to a movie premiere, but it's still a cute dress. Um, but I'm going to show you the dress that I'm pretty sure it's a remake of. Like, honestly, you can just look at my Rebecca collection video to see, like, how they basically remake all. And this isn't just for Rebecca. This is for, like, all the Forever characters. So this is, like, the original dress, um, which I'm, I honestly do think this dress is a lot prettier with, I like the colors in this dress a lot better than this. I feel like this, there's a lot of clashing in this dress. The only thing about this dress is um, it's not in the best condition because I got this dress before I even got Rebecca, which means I probably got it when I was like in kindergarten, like super young. I got this like I'm pretty sure the year before I actually got Rebecca and I literally got it just because I thought this dress was so cute because I, I really liked how it had like the two part thing and there's other pieces to this dress. So um, the hat which actually I think would look cute with the other outfit too. But this is the hat. This hat her uncle gives her for her birthday. And then in the book when she goes to see, to um, she goes to watch her uncle be in a movie. But oh no, they need a child actor. So they give her this dress that somehow mysteriously matches her hat that she was already wearing. And then she's in the movie. And this, this actually might still be for sale online, this dress. I'm not sure if it's completely sold out. But you can tell that it's like totally a remake of that dress. Even though it's like a made-up storyline. And then these are the shoes. Um, they're not in the best condition because they're really old. Like they're kind of crinkly. But these are the shoes. And also with this outfit, there was a necklace. And it was really cute. It was like kind of like a satiny, like... Um, ribbon like I think it had like a little cross thing on it I'm not exactly sure I lost it when I was like in third like I lost it when I was really young like honestly I was actually thinking about digging through like 
my old like um Barbie box in my closet to see if it like somehow fell in there when I was really little, which I I I might do, and then if I find it, I'll, I'll like make a segment. But honestly, I have no idea where it is. Like it's it's gone. Like somebody probably actually threw it away. Like okay, so now I'm not gonna try this dress on Rebecca because I think I I have like plenty of like pictures of her in this dress. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it on somebody else. But um, I'm definitely gonna put this dress on Rebecca and maybe I'll try to like cut this out of the pony holder. I don't know. Also, I got this for my birthday, so thanks to my mom for getting this for me for my birthday. So I'm gonna put this on Rebecca. Okay, so another thing. Like, I don't know why American Girl can't step the quality up on their other stuff because this is literally lined with satin. Like, the, like the inside of the top. Like, see, this is what the satin would normally look like from the back. Do you see, like, where this insert is? But this part's lined, like, like, and, like, the doll's not a person. Like, they're not gonna, like, feel that against their skin. So what even, like, this is, like, literally, like, 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 American Girl, like, I don't understand how they release this and then they're literally releasing dolls with zombie eyes. Like, like... Like, this is, like, night and day. And, like, even though I usually hate on Be Forever stuff, like, this is, like, the best Be Forever thing ever. Like, I didn't really like Rebecca's, um, her, like, her new Hanukkah dress, like, the blue one. Like, I thought it looked kind of, like, I don't know. Like, I liked it, but I didn't like, like, the pendant because it was, like, green. Like, like, the only thing I have a problem with is, like, the kind of clashing colors, which actually I think still may be historically accurate because I think that's just, like, the colors they had back then. So it's not even, like, a complaint about, like, the quality itself. It's just that I'm not a big fan of the color. So, like, like what is going on, American Girl? Like, why can't all your stuff be like this? Guys, even though I was hating on these shoes, I'm not going to show you her full self yet because she's not fully dressed. These shoes are so cute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm dying. <laughs> okay, so here she is, and as you can see, it doesn't look horrible, but how the bow sticks out it really bothers me. So in a few minutes, I already kind of started pulling it out just because I was trying to see if I could actually untie it. So I'm going to take this off the pony holder in a few minutes um, and see how it looks tied normally. So this is just, like, so cute. Like, it really, I don't know how historically accurate this is, but it actually really looks like She's like a movie star from like the 1910s. Like, I don't know. Like, it, it just looks like so perfect. And like, even though I complain about the shoes, like I think it all just comes together actually very nicely in like kind of like a cute mismatch way because there is blue here. So it's not completely mismatched. I think maybe they should have just left out the blue altogether or put more blue into this part. Um... But overall, it's not bad. This is literally the cutest Be Forever outfit I've ever seen. And, like, um, like, I, I, like, love the shoes. Like, I was, I was just saying earlier, I love them. Like, they'll pro probably be using a lot of, like, outfits that aren't just Rebecca related. But now I'm going to try to take apart this bow to get it to lie right. And I honestly don't know why they spend all this time and money like putting them on pony holders like take the money to put the bows on pony holders and put it towards like fixing the eyes so like okay so I just took the ribbon off the pony holder so I just had to like oh you can't even see it. so all I had to do was like cut the threads and it's kind of wrinkled where like it was like attached or whatever do you see that but honestly it's not gonna matter it's gonna be in the doll's hair so like whatever and honestly I could just like iron this down I do have the pony holder so I can easily just like retie it so here she is with the ribbon tied in her hair normally obviously it's like a little wrinkly um but i think it looks a lot better and less awkward and it's way easier to get into her hair and look nice obviously like i didn't tie the prettiest bow because um i was just i don't i don't know <laughs> i was just like doing it quickly but um i think it looks a lot better than it did when it was in the pony holder you can leave me your thoughts obviously like it is a little wrinkled which obviously that's what i get for taking it out of how it was supposed to be like i'm not dumb um but i like it a lot better not on the pony holder and if you want to try this all you have to do is cut the little threads do not cut the ribbon do not cut the pony holder because those are both separate items all you have to do is cut the threads attaching them untie the bow and then voila you have two separate items so yeah that's how i feel and even even if they wanted to put it on something i would recommend they put it on a clip and not a bow 
I mean, not a pony holder, because this really isn't meant to be a pony, it's just meant to be almost like in place of her hair clip, because normally, um, if you see Rebecca, she normally has that gold hair clip, and obviously, we don't need like a whole pony holder. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye!